I guess if Synthwave were an anime, it'd probably be it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Gio here, and today we're going to be talking about the movie Promare done by, or co-produced, I should say, by Studio Trigger and X-Flag, and of course put out by Toho Animation. This came out in May of 2019, and it is a film directed by the team, the epic team, I should add, Hiroyuki Imaishi, and of course written by Kazuki Nakashima. Now, if you know your production uh, individuals, and staff in the anime world, you know that these guys just produced top quality series such as Good and Lagan and Kill la Kill. It has a very distinct and familiar style if you're used to shows like that. Uh, very similar character models with uh, mechanical designs and overall world and, and the color palette. It's all very similar to those previous works, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And of course, I have to mention that one of the best music composers from Japan, of course, Hiroyuki Sawano, is working in uh, the score of this film. If you don't know who Sawano is, just uh, check out his... Uh, line of uh, work and the series that he composed and movies and stuff and you'll find stuff that you've loved trust me on that one so i do have to say promere uh right out of the gate it just looks so stylish so clean and gorgeous that i fell in love with the movie from the very first frames just uh, I, I joked about it at the beginning of this video how it's very synth wave inspired and yeah throughout the whole movie the visual designs the color of the flames and then the backgrounds uh, when characters are in holding cells with the line work in the cells and all that stuff it just kept reminding me of synth wave uh, from the music and all that style all that vibe neo noir uh, neon colors all that stuff which i really love i'm a huge fan of the whole synth wave thing you're probably wondering just what the heck is the movie about well let me tell you that 30 years prior to the start of the movie, Earth suffered a great disaster known as the Great World Blaze, where fires just formed uh, massive spontaneous human combustions, and small parentheses here, I chuckled wholeheartedly because I kept thinking, okay, this is uh, Synthwave meets Fire Force, so yay. Uh, yeah, uh, the great world blaze killed half the world's population and certain humans that survived this event developed pyrokinetic abilities and they became known as the burnish however the world doesn't view them lightly because there was such mass destruction and they're discriminated upon the people are very uh, racist towards them and it doesn't help that a sect of the Burnish formed sort of a terrorist group called the Mad Burnish. Now in present time, the character of Gallo lives in the city of Promopolis and is a member of the firefighting group known as Burning Rescue, who respond to incidents involving the terrorist sect Mad Burnish. So that in a nutshell is Promare, but it is so much more than that. What soon follows is a really uh, fantastic sci-fi epic story about these characters that one, uh, when it comes to the Burnish, they are mistreated and several of them are locked up and they face uh, discrimination and racism, which uh, really it will resonate with a lot of viewers and with our current world uh, problems and world issues when it comes to that stuff. But you also have a very optimistic, bombastic, spontaneous character in Gallo. And he wants to do good, he wants to be the best that he can be, and he wants to save people. When he comes across the Mad Burnish, 
uh, he finds worthy opponents and that soon escalates into them trying to liberate their former comrades and uh, burnish citizens if you will or burnish people and yeah it, it what starts out as a simple story which is unusual for studio trigger if you've seen their previous works it soon goes cosmic in scale with talks of parallel universes and what exactly the burnish is and their superpower because it's not the way it's stylized it's it looks it doesn't look like a regular flame it's very pinkish uh pinkish violet and and sort of greenish colored and there's a reasoning for that to separate it from uh, regular flames i guess and yeah if you're not ready the film will assault you with countless exposition dumps about the nature of the burnish the nature of the world and the perilous state it is in which you soon find out thanks to the villain of the film uh, and one has to wonder if he's truly a villain yes he does commit villainous acts i'm not saying he's a saint but his reasoning is not out of pure malice, if you will, which I thought was great. It's always fun to have a character like that, which he can cross the line between good or bad, or like neutral good or chaotic evil, or however you want to do the whole diagram thing. I thought that was pretty clever. I thought that was uh, pretty fun to see characters like that. And with the main characters of Gallo and Leo, uh, the two of them at the beginning, and, and if you see the posters and stuff, you think there's going to be this heated rivalry, but it sort of took another another turn, which I really appreciated, and, and, and I thought the film was better for it. If they would have kept these two characters at odds throughout the entire film, it wouldn't have been as special, in my opinion, but definitely the movie... Uh, has some very kick-ass action. It goes into very Gurren Lagann vibes with its uh, mechanical designs, because, yeah, there are mechanical, or I should say, uh, mecha robots in this that uh, will delight some fans. The character work, for the most part, the, the film focuses on a select handful of characters, and in the limited time, because I, I do believe it was close to two hours, you do get some development uh, some of them are more tropey and um, the character beats are very stereotypical with a film like this there's a intro scene and soon after you learn what both sides of the argument are really all about and then you find a shocking revelation and then it, the combat escalates uh, our heroes are pinned down you know, it follows that mechanic, but it does so in a very stylish way where you're not going to care and you're just going to have a fun time because the action's intense. The choreography on this thing is insane. All the fights, uh, literally Gallo boards this uh, robotic suit because he's a rescuer, EMT, firefighter, whatever, and it's used for rescuing people, but he's going to use it to fight. He's fighting the uh, Mad Burnish and they're running across buildings and he's using sort of like this staff reminiscent of ancient Japan uh, and their firefighters and all that stuff, which I thought was really dynamic and it catches your eye, especially with the music and the synthwave vibe and all that stuff. Meanwhile, the character of Leo is sort of your atypical uh, co-lead or antagonist, he's very different. And when you find out his plight, when you find out why he's doing the things he's doing, you sympathize for him. When you find out who the actual uh, villain of the film is, that's what I meant earlier where, yeah, he's doing horrible things, but it all comes from a necessity to save the world, if you will, from impending doom. So, uh, yeah, I, I wholeheartedly recommend it. I enjoyed Promare in all its glitz and glamours. Some of the supporting cast barely get any screen time or barely get any character development, which was a shame because they looked pretty interesting, but they're just there to fill a specific role. But 
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's a fun story that in honor of all of uh, Studio Trigger's works, it keeps escalating to a point where the world opens up and it just gets crazy bonkers, but in a good way, in like epic sorts of ways. <laughs> I cannot recommend this film enough. Uh, if you get a chance, do pick up the Blu-ray, do watch the film. It is worth your time. If you've seen Promare, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought of it, because I thought it was pretty wild and crazy in all the best ways. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. I thank you so much. As always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. We can keep the conversation going over there as well. Also, before I go, remember to hit the little bell icon so you know when new videos pop up and you don't miss another uh, video here at A Week in Geekdom. All right, I have got to go. I've rambled far too long. I will catch all of you on our next review.